happy Monday, everyone. Not funny? Okay, all right. Well, I suppose a lot of you might be charging off to work right about now, but... Well, let's counteract the Monday morning blues with a little bit of positivity, and let's return to the solutions, which is a fundamental cornerstone of the work that I do here at The Corbett Report, and we're going to highlight an interesting little website that was sent to me by an Australian listener. It's called Ripe Near Me, and that's at ripenear.me.me. If you have any problems with that, uh, parsing that address, I will include the link in the show notes so you can go directly to this website for yourself. And of course... As you see, here's the homepage. Uh, Find homegrown ultra-local food or share your excess produce. If you click this pulsating play button, you'll find a uh, handy-dandy video that explains the website for you. But let me just scroll down to how it works. And under our inspiration, it says, uh, Ever had a peach, apple, or lemon tree go bananas with a bumper crop and not know what to do with it? Or maybe you've seen your neighbor's trees overloaded, left to the birds, falling to the floor, and going to waste. We have too, and that's why we started Ripe Near Me, a web app that connects people through the food we each grow ourselves. It says, adding your produce, we allow anyone to post food that they grow themselves or post produce growing in public space. It's free to add as many different foods as you grow, and you decide whether to swap, sell, or give away your spoils. And foraging online, everyone's produce gets pinned on our searchable global map for some seriously addictive online foraging. It's all about community and ultra-local food mapped across the globe. You can find what's growing in your neighborhood to get in touch with folks nearby or see what's growing on, growing on halfway around the world. So this website is, as far as I understand, originally from Australia. I believe it was started by a couple in Adelaide. So originally, I typed in uh, Brisbane to uh, see what was going on in Brock West's neck of the woods. And uh, when you do that and you click on this, and it'll ask to save your location. And I don't think I'll do that because I'm not in Brisbane. But um, it takes a minute for the map to load up, especially with a slow computer like mine. It was getting slower by the day. And here you'll find all sorts of different things. Uh, jackfruit and whatever. Whatever else is growing in that area. Chilies and what have you. And uh, as the uh, the intro there says, uh, sometimes they're $2 for 10 grams, or sometimes they're a dollar a bushel, or a, a buck a kilogram, or sometimes they're just free, like this jackfruit. So if you're interested in something like that, you click on the read more and you get information you uh, pinpointed on the map exactly where this is growing a public accessible huge old jackfruit tree located in Boreen Point at Lake Kuthabara north of Noosa the tree is located in the board park right in the middle of the village so there you go some nice big jackfruits growing for you and uh, you can subscribe as uh, as it was saying if you have an account you subscribe and it will uh, update you when the uh, the fruit is ready when it's ripe ready to be picked. And uh, so again, there's uh, there's local growers, there's uh, publicly accessible free foods like that uh, available here. It's a really interesting site. And as I say, I originally thought this was only for Australia, but I was pleasantly surprised when I started uh, playing around on here a little bit. And again, you'll excuse the slow load time of this computer. But uh, for example, when I type in my old hometown of Calgary, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, uh, you'll find lots of stuff growing in that area as well. More than that, surely. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) you won't find much, (laughs) but you'll find a little bit. (laughs) Uh, Some lovage and rhubarb and other things uh, growing in Calgary. All right, well, there you go. Anyway, it really is global. Um, So please do try this yourself. Type in where you live, see what's growing near you, whether it's free or if you have to pay for it or whether it's a local farmer or what have you, and see if you can source some local ingredients that you otherwise probably wouldn't even know about. And that, of course, is the beauty and the power of this potentially powerful technology to connect people directly to each other without the need for the middleman, without the need for the industrial food chain, without the need for the supermarkets and all of the uh, industrial corporate processed crap that comes with it, we can start directly connecting with people in ways that were never thinkable or possible before. So people connecting online, finding ways to collaborate and share and and uh, purchase from each other directly and cutting out middlemen and do oh this sounds too good to be true Uh, uh uh-oh i think we've summoned him it's the eye of sauron he's definitely looking at this and i'm not talking about the real life eye of sauron in moscow um i'm talking about jp morgan uh this coming from the telegraph uh recently Here's how much money people are making from the sharing economy. JP Morgan analyzed 260,000 bank accounts over three years. That in itself is a bone chilling statement. JP Morgan analyzing people's bank accounts to find out exactly how lucrative working for companies such as Uber and Airbnb can be. That's, I mean, it's chilling to think 
that they're doing that, that they're examining people's bank accounts to find out where their money's coming. But anyway, working for sharing economy companies such as Uber and Airbnb can boost income by up to 15%, according to an expensive analysis of earnings by JP Morgan. Americans who make money for, from performing tasks on labor performing uh, labor platforms such as Uber and TaskRabbit, a marketplace for outsourcing errands, earn as an average of $533 extra each month. Participants who rent assets on capital platforms such as home rental site Airbnb and eBay Surely they mean selling things on eBay, but anyway, can make an additional $314 every month on average. So there you go. A pretty substantial, a not insignificant amount of money is being made on average. Keep in mind, these are averages on these types of platforms, these peer-to-peer -peer platforms that are connecting people directly to each other. So it is an exciting, it is a burgeoning field. And uh, I think the fact that we have attracted the eye of Sauron is testament to that, because of course they want to try to co-opt, corrupt, and otherwise sway this phenomenon before it takes off and people actually start getting out from under the uh, the noose of the the corporate slave chains so people are making money from the sharing economy who would have thunk it oh that's right yes if you are unfamiliar with the concept of the peer-to-peer -peer economy please do go back and watch or listen to solutions the peer-to-peer -peer economy episode 303 of the corporate report podcast i think it's a pretty important concept and i did try to articulate it there and i've talked about it a few times since then but here's the thing uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we had a, uh, a pretty extensive open source investigation on the war on cash, and we had corporate report members all around the world contributing links from all around the world, doc documenting the process by which uh, the banks, banksters, and, uh, and city governments and all places all around the world are, are trying to phase out cash. And we've got dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of links from a couple of different countries, a couple dozen different countries here. A pretty impressive list, I think, assembled uh, by the Corporate Report members. So thank you very much for contributing to that open source investigation. But that open source investigation is a bit of a downer. Let's do a positive, solutions-oriented open source investigation on sites like Ripe Near Me. I, everyone's heard of Uber. Everyone's heard of Airbnb. Nothing really new to parse there. And of course, the more they get embedded in the system by making making nice with the local governments in order to pretty please can we be granted uh, our own monopoly and enforce out the competition, the less useful they're going to be as genuine peer-to-peer -peer platforms. So I'm interested in sites like this, right near me. I had no idea it existed until the other day. And there's lots of valuable information here that really is uh, connecting people. And I've already found a few things in Japan, including in my neck of the woods in Western Japan, that I'm going to check out and hopefully report on later. I hope others will do the same. But I want to know more about other sites, not just right near me. There must be more peer-to-peer -peer platforms like this that connect people, not just through food, maybe through tasks, maybe through sharing uh, community resources. However it works, whatever it is in your area, do you know of any of those? That's what I'd love to call on the Corporate Report members to assemble in a new open source investigation. So please, please, if you are a Corporate Report member with some information on a peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, valuable peer-to-peer -peer platform, please leave it in the comment section of this video on CorporateReport.com. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we can piece together and hopefully, well, not just... Uh, helping other people learn, but hey, learning myself, like right near me. It's a wonderful little resource. I'm glad it exists. And like anything else, it only is only valuable if we actually use it. So let's start using uh, valuable technologies like this to try to try to outrun the uh, the collapse. And again, it'll be people in your local area providing things uh, that will be the 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 saving grace when and if that collapse does come. That's going to do it for this Monday morning. I hope this is a little bit of positivity. I've at least given you one website to check out, and hopefully there will be more coming in. So uh, please do stay tuned to CorbettReport.com for that. That's going to do it for today. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.